Blue Sky is amazing. I've been using it now for a couple of days and it does require some configuration to get it exactly how I want it. But I also want to talk about all the other platforms, Twitter, X, Mastodon, Threads, and those, uh, I, I guess you call them competitors or, or alternatives, I should say, and why I finally just settled on Blue Sky going forward because it really is so much better than all of those platforms once configured. So let's get into it. I want to show you everything that I've been doing here because it's starting to hit a critical mass where lots of people are using it. Like I just got a chat message. We got notifications. I'm getting much more engagement over here than I have on Twitter now, which is wild because on Twitter, I had like 20 something thousands followers. So, you know, I, I always hate leaving a platform that I've dedicated so much time and years building a, a good following. I've got 22,000 followers over here. And I was like, man, that's good. I, I really should. Actually, I made a, the original Blue Sky tweet at the end of last year. Uh, it said, hey, I was my handles at ChrisTitus.com. But the big thing here is, how did I configure this? Because the notifications coming in, I mean, it's just super fast and clean. Not a bunch of garbage, not a bunch of political stuff. Not It's just the people I follow. And when I go to my home feed here, let's see what we got. I got Android Authority. I actually don't subscribe to any of these people. So this is just the home one. So I'm like, eh, yeah, I don't really care about any of this stuff. Uh, let's just go to my following. But people I follow, my curated feed okay so out of my following all right we got uh gaming on linux making some posts uh repost by somebody i follow we got tech lore here we got jen i follow her she's from microsoft uh jeff gearling melky's awesome love love chatting with him i need to talk to him about getting his go programming <laughs> see if you can hook me up and uh yeah so this is kind of like just in the past couple days, I started seeing more and more people. Uh, also, John McBride's over here and just a lot of Twitter. And they even made like a custom feed for a lot of the Twitter exodus. We've got Brody over here and uh, more people are joining. And I was like, OK, this is really starting to pop off. And how did I set this up? So the big thing I wanted to show you is how to curate your feed. So obviously I created a starter pack of all the tech creators, Marquez, uh, Linus, and Theo, and Pirate Software. I think the only person I'm missing out here is like Primogen. Get with the times, Prime. But many other people in the tech sphere that have this, and if you are a tech creator and you aren't on the Blue Sky uh, starter pack here, let me know, I'll add you to this list. Uh, the other thing I love is, so when you click on this, it takes you to my starter pack and it shows you everybody I'm following. And then whenever you hit the following tab over here, it's going to show you all their latest posts. Got Coffeezilla, Quinn, Snazzy Labs, uh, I, I Justine, and I just have all those creators because I like following them. I like to see what they're saying and just kind of have a good like finger on the pulse. So yeah, that's, that's the big thing about this is getting these in here. So you could obviously use my starter pack, but this is kind of curated for me. What I did to pull all these people in is I go over to Twitter and I think I go into my following. So these are the people I'm following right now in Twitter. So what I wanted to do is take all these people and then port them over to Blue Sky and see if they have any Blue Sky alternative. There's Sky Follower Bridge. I pull that up. I put my Blue Sky socials in. Let me do that real fast. And I'm just at ChrisTitus.com. The other thing about Blue Sky is you can actually register your domain with them. It's usually just adding a DNS entry. And then you can have your own custom domain. So I own ChrisTitus.com and I can use that on Blue Sky. So much more personalized. I just love that feature. And this goes through, sees your following thing, but you have to be on the Twitter one so it can scrape that web page. And it scrapes your followers and says, hey, these people are on Blue Sky, so you can scroll through and go, hey, do I am I following these people over there? There's a couple people in here I'm not, uh, and I'm just like, okay. 
but it, it tries to track them down. It's not perfect, but it'll get you like 90% of all your follows on Twitter over on your blue sky. So then you can build your own feed. So check that out. Sky follower bridge. I'll put a, try to put a link in the description. So out of the 200 and something follows I have on Twitter, about 91 of them are on blue sky now. And, uh, I'll probably run this again here in like a month or so and see if more people have made it over to Blue Sky. But I wanted to show that because the big thing about this is having a good feed. Because the thing I don't want is I don't want to get stuck on this platform sitting here mindlessly scrolling. Now, if I want to mindlessly scroll, I can go to news and start scrolling and find the crap that, you know, hey, I want to waste some hours here. You can do that. Or let's say I want to just tech news, I can just go tech by Flipboard and curate these feeds over here. Now, every feed over here is a little bit different, and you can kind of uh, modify those to your needs. If you want more feeds, you can see these and search for things that you enjoy, and then you follow them and go. A lot like Mastodon, Mastodon kind of has this too, but it's more federated and more clicky and uh, more echo chambery where this gets more of everybody. And I really like their feed system. Now, a lot of the feeds might be dead. So I've added some feeds and I'm like, eh, it's not for me. And I unsubscribe. So kind of click through the feeds, find a couple you like. Right now, I'm just got these like developers, tech by Flipboard. Only posts, I think, is just posts from people I follow. And it does a, a little bit better job of curating just my follower posts. So it doesn't do reposts and other stuff. So it just cleans it up for me. So these people I follow, it shows that where I think the following tab also shows reposts maybe and replies and those types of things. So this, yeah, here's a repost. So that's why I only wanted only post to kind of clean it up a little bit. So if I want a really clean feed and not see replies, I'll just click only post. And then uh, Twitter, Exeter Exodus. <laughs> this is a fun one. This is just uh, some tech people that, came over this week and just kind of having fun going through and, and chatting with them. So uh, as we see, since I started this stream like five or 10 minutes ago, I've already got like 16 uh, on my notification tab of people either like liking or uh, following or even commenting on like a post and that type of thing. It's it's neat because a lot more people are using this platform. It's not just a, an empty shell like when I first came over and at the end of 2023. Probably we have Twitter to thank for that. The dumpster fire finally roared out of control and they broke a lot of people's feed with like prioritizing video and, and interpolluting a lot of the feed with like politics, which I didn't appreciate either. And I found myself just ugh, angry anytime I got on there. I was like, man, I really just don't want this. And it was not very productive for me. So that's why I, like a lot of things from Twitter, it had nothing to do with like Elon messing up the block feature or something like that. I don't care. Uh, there's plenty of people that have roasted me or done stuff. I never really used the block feature anyhow. But the cool thing about this in comparison is, yeah, you can use block feature, but I, I don't. The big thing I really wanted was just a clean feed that I can just go, hey, mentions. I only want to know, hey, who's mentioning me? Okay. These people have, have like quoted at me or something in a feed. These are the people I'm following. These are the people I'm following, only their posts. This is just a specific list I wanted. All that is just condensed right here. And even better, when I go to like a home feed, let's go to the Discover feed. This should have a little bit of everything. So like uh, Hank Green, I don't even think I'm following him. Like I'll follow him actually. Uh, Theo. He's here too. Okay, cool. He made it over. Kind of going through here. Sometimes I would see like an AI thing in here. And what I like to do for the AI stuff, I'll just hit profile. Um, and the starter pack will get you most of the tech content creators here. You can click this link and do that. But also another thing I love is the block list. If you click here, there's an anti-NFT AI crypto buzzword shill list. And what you do is you just click this and it will block everybody listed in here. So here's all the users that are listed and it's just garbage stuff. Crypto agent. Here's this one. He's chilling his GitHub. This person is a crypto expert, right? Picks AI, uh, probably like some kind of nudity thing. You can see, hey, these are blurred out. I wonder why. Hmm. <laughs> Could it be it's like some scantily clad 
cartoon character showing Lord knows what. Uh, yeah, maybe that that was a bad problem on on Twitter. Was all of a sudden a lot of my replies I couldn't click into tweets anymore because it was just filled with you know <laughs> only fans garbage. So it's like okay, well I I don't want that. Uh, and the cool thing is under settings and when it comes to moderation, we'll go there. This moderation is really good. The big things is I can disable adult content. I can show no nudity, which is great. Just hide it all from me. I can say, Hey, you know what? I really don't like politics in my feed. I have muted tags. So if Biden, Kamala, or Trump gets mentioned in, a, in any kind of tweet or whatever you call it over here, it, it'll just block it. So it won't show it in my feed. And even more so, you can go into the moderation service and get a little bit more granular with this. You can show and hide sensitive or extremist, intolerant, threats, rude, whatever it might be. I'll just put warn for, for rude or, um, yeah, that, that should be good. Security concerns or unsafe links, impersonation, that, that all that's good. So that's the... That's the thing is you can get really granular with the moderation over here, but you control it. So let's say you're a free speech advocate. Well, get on here and just turn off all the moderation and just enjoy the chaos. If you want to replicate what Twitter is, you can do that. But if you want to replicate Mastodon feed or only just get more of a curated feed like me, you can do that too. So you have a lot of abilities and you just find a good happy medium here. I love this and I've been, I've used chat before. I've used the message system. It's much faster too. The one problem with Twitter I've had in the past is the message system is breaking down or the site fails to load or there's tons of buffering on the videos or even images sometimes it is just failing to load. So Twitter itself has a lot of structural problems and then you have Threads, which is Facebook's knockoff. Basically, they copied Twitter, you know, circa 2018, really, is is they just took that model and just said, hey, we're just going to put it in Facebook now and call it Threads. And that's basically what they did. And they did a good job of, I guess, copying it, but it still has all the same problems that Twitter had back then. So to me, it's just instead of it being Twitter, it's just Facebook controlling a Twitter feed. So I was like, nah, that's not my jam. And then Mastodon was just too... Uh, scattered and I found like everyone had like their clicks and it was more of an echo chamber and I really didn't like the feel of Mastodon where this feels more put together and I love the how it's presented I love the person you know how much you can customize it so blue sky I dig it I appreciate it I think it's awesome and uh, we'll see. I'll give you guys an update if something happens. I'll do, be doing my live streams Monday, Tuesday, Thursday over on Twitch. And uh, in the meantime, hit me up at christitus.com on bsky.app. Peace.